this is Misty, and Misty's a six-year-old cat that came to see me because her owner's very worried that her tummy's really swollen up. And hopefully you'll be able to see here that actually she's, she's really ballooned up like a football. She's usually a very skinny little cat, but she's got a massive tummy on her. Um, and I've put a little needle into that because it's fluid that's in there. And what we're dealing with is pus. Um, looks like pus in the syringe and it looks like pus down the, the microscope. So we think we've got an infection somewhere. Now what we're hoping is that the owner reports that the pus usually comes out of her after a season, so we're hoping that she's got pus in her uterus, and this is just the craziest pyometra, you know, infection of the uterus that we've ever seen. But until we get in there and have a look, I can't guarantee that it's not free pus that's floating around in there or pus that's somewhere else. Um, but that said, if it was free pus or pus somewhere else, she's actually very healthy otherwise. She's eating, she's well in herself. Um, you know, the only issue she's got is this big swollen tummy. So it's going to be really interesting to go in there and see see what's causing it and hopefully it'll be something that, that we can fix. Misty's all asleep now. We've clipped the area that we're interested in and she's been scrubbed up, ready to go. I've scrubbed myself. I just need to dry my hands and get into my, my gown and gloves and we can make a start. Um, she's out here on the table. You can probably see that we've got her on an angle um, because we don't want all that pressure in her tummy to restrict her ability to breathe. Um, and she's also on quite a high fluid rate now because that pressure when she's on her back actually restricts the, the blood return to the heart from the body. So we need to keep her blood pressure up as high as possible. So uh, that's what's going on and we'll make a start in a few minutes time. Okay, gonna make a start. Make a little incision over the skin. I'm gonna stroke down to the muscle there. Okay, so it looks like it is a, an infection of the uterus. Whoa. Is there babies in there? No. Everything you see here is the uterus filled with fluid, filled with the pus. We've got to be really careful that we don't pop the uterus when we're getting it out because that pus will go into the abdomen and you'll get a peritonitis which is fatal in a lot of cases. So we're just going to gently tease it all out. I don't think I've seen one that big in a dog. So that's, uh, that's the whole uterus out now. This is the two horns here and the, the central bit in the middle. Usually the uterus of a cat would be probably smaller than this blood vessel you can see here or, or these intestines. Um, but because it's so full of this fluid, it's filled up massively. But this is impressive. Out it popping, yeah. So the uterus all removed as she's all stitched up. And now if I take this off, hopefully you'll see a bit of a difference in her size. <laughs> it's gonna feel a bit better, I think. So we've emptied out our uterus now, so this is what's left behind, and this is all the fluid that came out from inside the uterus. And if you can see, um, put a good couple of litres there that was inside this cat. So she's a, a lot lighter now. We'll go and weigh her in a second and see what percentage of her body weight she's lost. So Misty's all come round brilliantly from the surgery. She's made a really good recovery. Um, she's lost almost three kilos in weight uh, in pus, um, which when you consider that she was only 5.7 kilos to start with, I mean, she's lost over half her body weight in pus, which is, it, which is crazy. So she probably feels much lighter and much better. And I think she's probably being a, a bit hungry now. So we're gonna feed her now she's come round. As you can see, she's pretty hungry. Yeah, I'll pop it. And pretty skinny too. So she'll go home today um, with some pain relief and, and some further antibiotics. And we'll see her back in a couple of days, but she should, now that's all out, make uh, a complete recovery um, and go on to live a, a normal life, which is great. Um, so the owner and, and me are, are really happy with how she's done.